On January 1st, a massive 7.5 earthquake hit Japan, destroying over 40,000 houses, killing 248 people. Well now, it's been about 45 days since then, and I'm curious to see what it looks like and how people are getting along. Interestingly, there isn't really any easy route into the disaster zone, aside from a few buses that are generally only for the locals. Also, there are absolutely zero hotels, as they were all being used by the victims of the earthquake. So, I decided to head there on a bike, and after 10 or so days of cycling, I've made it to the start of the disaster zone. And I'm cycling to the city that got affected the worst, Wajima. Wajima is a coastal city in the prefecture of Ishikawa, where the majority of the money is made from fishing and agriculture. And all the way back in 2007, it was hit by a 6.9 magnitude earthquake. I find it's pretty hard to get a clear picture of what an earthquake actually looks like when all you do is see it on the news. So, that's my goal here today. Let's go. Alright, so I'm cycling here, and uh, I'm on my way to Wajima. I'm about 20 kilometers. I've been cycling for like 10 days all the way from Osaka to get here. And majority of the roads are actually just shut off, so you can't even get through. So, it's been a lot of trouble trying to get through all the roads to get here, but... I'm on my way with my friend uh, here, and um, we're gonna try seeing what the heck it's actually like in the main epicenter city. So let's go. You notice on the Japanese houses' roofs, a lot of them have this like blue tape thing. Not exactly sure what it does, but it does seem like in some areas, a majority of the houses, the Japanese style ones, have that. These Western style homes are almost always fine. Now, one of the big problems you face when <laughs> riding on these roads is a big portion of it is completely messed up and these are some of the much better roads that we've been seeing along the journey just riding through these towns you just see absolutely collapsed houses that one got split in half that is insane so as for actually hotels Due to all the houses that have been damaged and fallen down, I believe all the residents are most likely staying in hotels, so none of them are open. Absolutely every single one of them is closed, and me and my friend have no idea where we're going to stay. That one almost fell in the water. Man, that's crazy, man. It's nothing to say. We're still about 20 kilometers away from the actual epicenter, Wajima. As we go, there's just more and more damage. There is a lot of people that have been quickly constructing and fixing the roads and a lot of the houses. And I can imagine that a lot of people aren't actually staying in their houses because they're scared that this is gonna happen. Because until you get your house checked, how do you know if it's really safe to be in? Anyhow, we gotta keep going on this road. Let's keep going. All right, uh, this is uh, my friend, Sho. Thinks he's an alien. So, we haven't eaten, but there might be a convenience store over here. Whether there's food or not, I have no idea, but uh, let's go figure that out, alien boy. All right, let's go. Hey, well, it should just be right down here. Family Mart, right there. It exists. This is actually open, though. This is seriously the moment of truth right here. Whether we are eating or not while we're in this area. A guy actually went viral for not finishing his food, by the way, so. Definitely gonna be finishing my food. All right, well, this is the family, Mark. Please have Please food. Tell me food. I've what never seen thought? this much food in, in my life, actually. What? Dude, there's stack. I guess because of what's going on, yeah. there's no food anywhere else, so they just have to stock up on food here. How do you got the bazaar? Right, it's raining again. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, let's go. Hey. This is insane. This whole mountain fell down and they fell on top of this house. Dude, that would be so damn scary. Can you imagine? And all of them are just falling down, crushing your house. It seems that the person inside was most likely probably fine, but that would be so, so scary. Let's go. So right here is the first housing district in Wajima. 
it appears, since getting into the town, it's the first district. Um, this house, a lot of the tiles on the roof destroyed. You can see this house right here is slanted a little bit. This one right here is completely fallen. I don't even know how this happens on the road right here. I'm not gonna lie. Like, wh where did all these rocks come from? I just, I don't get it. But another house right there. You can see the roof is taking up half of the road over there. Another one over there. This house has been destroyed. All the houses out here in Wajima seem to have taken quite a toll. I'm not exactly sure what those are, but you can see that they're nearly falling over in the distance. That hotel is so big and it's like bent over, bro. Look at that, that's so insane. Oh my God. The whole giant office building fell down over there. What the? Bro, the entire office building fell down. Oh my God. What am I looking at? What am I looking at? The ground at the bottom fell and all you see is the office building. This building, despite being designed for earthquake resistance, completely collapsed from its foundation. It's believed that the earthquake was just so violent that it shook the piles out of the ground. And after the buildings collapsed, a major fire broke out in the area, possibly due to wire damage. The worst part is that it was in the main historical shopping district. And so you can get a better image of just how gigantic this fire actually was. It was about the size of seven soccer fields. Looking at, believe it or not, the road right here. Except that all the electricity and everything is falling down. Alright, show sure, we have to go straight. We have to go straight. Bro. So yeah, that's honestly about it for the disaster zone. After entering, there is an extreme strong sense within me and my friend of wanting to leave. To put it simply. It's extremely depressing. Many of the cities at the time of recording didn't have access to running water, and obviously many people are working really hard at relief efforts, while I'm just a weird foreigner riding a bike. Interestingly, there were quite a few disaster tours that were walking around taking photos. A few of them were foreigners, but actually, the majority of them were Japanese. If you did want to support the relief efforts, there are a few different charities online that I will link in the description. Goodbye.